Brad, what is your favorite clothes? Honestly, I didn't, I didn't come up with anything. Have you ever gotten anyone to buy a car from you? <laughs> okay, I thought so. What did you say to them? I mean, or did they rip it away from you? No, I mean, usually the numbers are right and we're good. I mean, take, the, take it on the day. I don't. That's like a, I, there's not a saying I say like every time. It's like, hey. No, I, no, I, I know there's not one. I hope you've got more than one clothes. Cassandra, your favorite clothes? Mine is going to be the iPhone or the phone case post, but that's more for iPhone. That's okay. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm here to learn. Tell me about the iPhone. I, I've never heard that. Oh, well, we learned it at the next thing. Okay. Um, so somebody says they, they don't need the product. Okay. Um, okay, Mr. Customer, I see you have a cell phone case on your, on your phone. Does that mean you plan on it breaking, or is it just in case you do? Okay, so why wouldn't you do that to this $50,000 vehicle, protect it just in case something can happen to it? Okay. Does it work? Mm, I'd say 70% of the time. Oh, shit. If, if they have their phone on them, most of them. Yeah, well, I'd say if they work 70% of the time, it's a damn fine close. Charles. Uh, sometimes you use, like, so how do you think you're going to be able to look in your driveway? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, that's a trial close. Okay, that's not a close. A close forces a customer to say, yes, I'll take delivery, or no, I won't. John. Well, mine's, going to be, mine's not a yes or no either. I was asking who's the first person to show the car for this afternoon. Okay, that's, a, that's a, again, trial close. Mm -hmm. Okay, Travell. I misunderstood. I wrote a trial close. Okay. So this is kind of along the lines of what, I, what I'm excited if that makes sense so that's yeah, well, absolutely so basically will steve i've got some really great news this vehicle is available and i think you really want to be pleased with the information that i'm getting ready to share with you everything you are wanting looks to be obtainable and that's okay, based that, on after getting the sheet you know in other words yeah that's wow. that, that's that's a setup okay. okay well let's back up we'll do this as a football thing what's a close what is a close? It's when someone says, yes, I'll buy the truck. Yes, I'll buy the car. Yes, I'll take delivery today. Okay, it's a question that prompts that type of answer or no, I won't. I, I wrote, and I thought maybe this was going to be a trial close and be a wrong answer, but... Uh, I just put, is this a car for you? Um, a tr tr trial close. Because I could say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I'm going to take delivery. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't committed to paying you 50 or 40 or 20 or $10,000. Mm -hmm. Your favorite close should be because the of the way your deals are written up, it should be the alternative choice close. I mean, this makes it so easy. Yeah, Scott, which one of, pick a cash down, which one of these three payments works best for you? I'm forcing him to do what? Make a decision. Okay? You should have, uh, you should have a lot of closes. Um, John, what's, what's, what's the rule of thumb? How many times do we have to ask the customer to buy a car before they say yes? I mean, I've read, I've read from one to a hundred, but... Your experience? I would say to buy the car. Yeah, six. I, I I would I would agree with that number. I would agree with that number. The problem is most salespeople don't don't know six closes. So what happens is well, um, Eric, you tell me. John, you tell me. What's the record here at this store for the um, amount of time a salesman? from the time the salesman leaves your desk till the time they get back to you saying the customer said no. Meaning it could be a minute, could be two minutes, could be three minutes. Quick. Really quick. Yeah. And you know why that is? The salesman doesn't know what to say. Okay? I don't blame salespeople for that. All right? I blame, man I blame management for that. I, I blame training for that or lack, lack thereof. I never knew what to say. I mean, I mean, I when I started selling cars, I mean, I my manager would say here, 
do you feel good about this? And I'd go, oh, yeah, boss, if anybody could do it, it's me. And I'd walk out there, and it'd be something like this. Okay, I'm really sorry, but that's the highest payment I've ever seen. And I, I've never seen that much cash in my life, you know. And then I'd go running back to the house. That's so big, stone cold payment pile. I tell you what, I didn't know what to say when the customer said no. Okay? So now I can blame management for that, not me. Although it, it was, but you know, as salespeople, we have we have a responsibility for learning our craft too. Um, you know, if if I meet if, one thing, I tell salespeople, I said, look, I don't care how good your management team is, um, they don't have time to train you as well as you need to be trained. You have to train yourself. There's tons of uh, 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 tons of resources to learn the sales business. YouTube is one, not, not just me. There's other good sales trainers on there. I, I, I study sales trainers outside of the car business. 